Hi, I'm Tim Griffin. I teach fifth grade in Los Angeles and I write educational music for kids. Here's an example for you. I've got a song to sing you and I'll try to make it rhyme But a theory that explains why life's evolving all the time We wondered how the creatures got their feathers, feet and fins Till Charlie Darwin figured out the species' origins Now everybody knows that every creature that's alive Has one paramount priority and that is to survive A cheetah that cannot run fast will never catch his lunch While the faster cheetah gets gazelles and eats them by the bunch it's natural selection, but it isn't very nice. A species that cannot adapt is gonna pay the price. Survival of the fittest means you've got to be the best, cause nature will get rid of all the rest. A priest named Gregor Mendel showed that every living thing tends to pass its good traits and its bad along to its offspring. So the faster cheetah's babies will be quick just like their dad, while the slower cheetah starves to death, although it's very sad. Now the cheetah who can catch gazelles is gonna eat so well That he's gonna make a lot of baby cheetahs like himself This means you'll get a lot of baby cheetahs that are fast While the slow ones, as I said before, are never gonna last It's natural selection, but it's not a pretty tale Just look at all the fossils of the animals that failed Survival of the fittest means you've got to be the best Cause nature will get rid of all the rest so each new generation runs with greater speed and power And by now the cheetahs chase gazelles at 80 miles an hour But they never chase the fast gazelles, they're lazy just like you So the cheetahs eat the slow ones, and gazelles get faster too It's natural selection, and it isn't blasphemy It just means that creation is a process you can see Survival of the fittest means you've got to be the best Cause nature will get rid of all the rest and all of this is gonna be on the test. Thank you.